So hi to all the viewers. I am Dr. Karthik Vijay Kumar, the endocrinology faculty at Dr. Tutorials. So I am sitting here as a proud teacher, and I have today with us Dr. Sanjana, who is the proud achiever of All India Rank Two in the recently conducted INIS Endocrinology November 2025 session. So huge congratulations to you, Dr. Sanjana. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So how do you feel now? You must be very elated and more so relieved i feel yes sir uh, yeah like relieved is definitely one feeling that i'm currently going through now like uh, it has been a long journey and uh, obviously i'd like to firstly thank god and my parents my sister all my teachers especially you sir you have been very instrumental in my journey and my seniors and my friends like without everyone's support this would not have been possible sir absolutely you land you deserve every bit of the applause that you are getting now, Dr. Sanjana. So before we dwell deep into your journey, the preparation that you have gone through over these months, so please introduce yourself a bit more in detail about your background, where you're from, your colleges and all. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I am from Guwahati, Assam. I have done my MBBS from Ames Patna and I have done my MD in medicine from Ames New Delhi, sir. So uh, was this your first attempt at INI? Uh, no, sir. This was my second attempt, sir. I'd attempted also in May and this was my second attempt, sir. So how did you fare in the, your previous attempt? Uh, sir, in my previous attempt, I had got uh, I got one a a AML rank of, sir, 14. So that itself is a great achievement considering that you were a fresher that time moving straight into the INI and uh, cracking rank 14 is no mean achievement and yet you have decided to give it one more go and here you are like a... a almost touching the zenith and guaranteeing a seat at Ames Delhi endocrinology. So once again, congrats to you. So what has changed? Like, I know there is nothing much to choose between a rank 14 and two, one or two tough questions going either way can't change your rank, but still after an examination, you have to rewire, you have to reboot and get ready in full throttle for the next exam. So how did you prepare yourself to do so? Yes, sir. So uh, during my previous attempt, uh, like although I did my best, but I still felt that I still had more potential in me and I felt my revision was not up to the mark. Like that was since it was my first reading. So I, uh, I gave my best at that time, but then still I felt that I could do much more. So I thought that I'll just give one more chance. So mainly was that in the, my previous attempt, by that time, I had already made all my notes, sir. And my notes were my primary source, like uh, which I had handwritten, I had made handwritten notes. And after that, sir, one was revision, revising these notes again and again, instead of uh, like uh, taking new information every time. And second thing was, sir, attempting the questions, sir, Q banks. And also, sir, Williams, I couldn't read cover to cover, sir. Uh, but mainly I made sure that I read all the tables, sir, tables and figures, because many of the times, like some important questions, they come up from there, sir. And uh, sir, question bank, sir, from doc tutorials, like I used to attempt and I also used to do sir, retrospective revision. Like I attempted the question and then I read the explanation and then go back to the topic to read, sir. So that will help in reinforcing the topic more, sir. That is what I felt and that is what I uh, did, sir, this time. Again, very comprehensive strategy that you have followed. So what do you feel? How many times do you need to revise your notes prior to the exam, according to you? Uh, sir, actually to each his own, I feel so like everyone has a different gas grasping ability. Uh, so uh, I cannot say a specific number, but then uh, for me, sir, revision was very, it was like very, very important, sir. Uh, like especially after the last attempt for a few days, I like felt like probably this is not for me. Uh, probably I don't know if I'll be able to do. So I took some time just to rewire myself, sir. But then once I started, sir, maybe, sir, two uh, like three four revisions sir like initial revision has to be sir more like in detail but then once i used i caught up on it sir then later times like i used to only revise things which i have a tendency to forget or some volatile topics sir like that i used to do and i used to mainly sir do questions sir because that helps in sir active recall i feel sir so you were able to get such a good rank in the first attempt itself that means your like uh, your notes itself 
must must have been very comprehensive so what are sources did you refer because the students might be eager to know how to make that primary source which is primary source of reading that is extremely important because that forms the backbone of your preparation so which all yes, sources sir. did you refer to prepare your notes primarily sir, my primary source sir was your notes sir like uh, from the doc tutorials app i used i had made handwritten notes uh, because i feel like that is primarily it's better for me when i like listen to the videos and then make my own notes so that was my primary source sir after that i used to refer to other like books like williams and then whatever extra was there or from the question banks i used to add in those notes but my primary source was certain notes like the notes which i had prepared from your video sir so like you have already attempted to ini and you now have a touch of different question set patterns also so do you feel that reading williams is a mandatory thing for a student going forward and attending the ini or just going by the notes plus q band and attending the gts with revision is good enough Uh, sir reading williams is definitely a bonus because it's like the gold standard thing but then i feel like i was not able to read cover to cover and especially like i used to get stuck on certain topics or maybe uh, in certain areas when i need more understanding then i used to refer to the books definitely because nothing can replace the standard books but then for reading uh, like it's i don't feel like reading cover to cover is like you have to do it mandatorily in order to like clear the exam sir i think so like making your notes and then you can just refer to the books like that can suffice sir according to me sir so how what was your approach regarding the grant test did you attend all those tests on time or did you like uh, attend it, attend them in a retrospective fashion Uh, sir, initial during my initial days of my preparation, I didn't give too many grant tests because initially when I used to give because my reading was not that good, so I used to score less. So that made me disheartened, and then one two days would go in uh, getting over that thing only. So my initially pre- probably in a month or so, but then later part of my preparation, sir, I did attempt like uh, sometimes like initially maybe in one. in uh, 15 days and later on maybe once a week also i did but then what i feel was more important was then reviewing the grant test sir the areas where i did the mistakes like that was more important rather than just keeping on attempting so sir that according to me was more important that reviewing the gt like religiously and that used to take a lot of time like if i do it religiously like properly sir so also thank you dr sanjana and uh, so you had scored extremely well in the theory part but still there was one more hurdle to cross which was the departmental assessment so how did we as a platform like adu and what were your sources did you refer something extra or you had a different strategy for preparing for the departmental assessment or was the notes itself the primary source for your preparation for interview also so uh, mainly notes were already there because i had already read but then apart from that i had also seen the video sir like the previous departmental assessment mock videos that you had conducted sir of the last sessions like almost last 2 to 3 years sir so i had because we don't get much time between both of the uh, like theory and pract- uh, interview so sir i had seen those videos and those topics because there are certain areas which have which are more usually asked like lab endocrinology like thesis like more of, most of the most of the time these things are asked so those areas were were there which i focused more on them this time sir like during the departmental assessment i didn't read anything else separately i just watched the videos and just made sure that i revise my notes once before i attempted the interview sir so whatever you did it worked wonders for you and now you are in a very very safe and a extremely well placed zone and uh, let me ask you one more question are you still going to attend neet at this or just no, now start no sir i don't think so i will sir attend hmm. neet as okay because you have got the best here that you, that you can ask for i see the names and yes, the chronology sir, like i'm truly grateful sir grateful to like god to my parents sir i'm very very grateful to you sir like even i used to message you at times asking for some of very silly doubts but you you always helped us be it in the groups or even individually to clear all of our doubts and we never felt that even if it's a very silly type of uh, like doubt 
we were never hesitant to ask you so sir thank you so much for all the help and all the guidance and support sir so it is extremely proud moment as i already told so for myself and for the entire platform to help all of you achieve uh, your dreams and uh, if there is one message dr sanjana you want to give out to all those aspirants out there what would that be who would be going to attend the upcoming sessions of the endocrinology exams yes sir uh, sir firstly is that just believe in yourself just don't feel that you cannot do it like even i had that moments of self doubt that i felt that i won't be able to do it yeah uh, like there are very few seats in endocrinology that is one primary reason why some people are uh, like uh, they are very apprehensive to even attempt endocrinology in the first place but i would just say that if you love the subject just give it your all and i would just say that revision is the key according to me that instead of going to hundreds of sources and just keeping on trying to gain new information each time just stick to your one primary source you can always keep adding things to it but just revise revise and revise so and you can obviously do it right absolutely dr sanjana thank you very much for your time and thank we you so much, wish sir. you all the very best so for all your personal and professional endeavors in life thank, thank you, you so much sir thanks we'll a lot thank you sir thank you sir okay bye